Hello, everybody, and welcome back to U-Boat. This is Dr. Obsidia. Thanks for joining me today. We are heading off to the port of La Rochelle as we are rejoining, well, I guess joining the Atlantic fleet. Um, so, <sighs> no more dealing with the English Channel and no more having to jog all the way around, which is what we are going to do. We could go directly through if we wanted to uh, brave the Channel one last time, but why risk it? Right, we're just going to go around, make life easier, and let's get underway. All ahead half. <laughs> oh, somebody fell in the water and died. Oh, Wilhelmshaven, one last time you have smacked us in the jaw here. <laughs> We've lost... Lost one. Alright, well... We bumped the edge and he kind of fell off uh, as he was probably watching out. You guys can rewatch it. I, I didn't see very well. I was kind of watching some other stuff on the screen and then I just saw that he, he bounced off. So that's fun. All right. Well, let's see if we can get out of port without running into anything else. It is interesting how uh, they haven't fixed that yet. That's a pretty big problem with the port. All right, I'll let you know if I spot something, but mostly we're just heading over there. We will engage any targets of opportunity, though. All right, so we did get this pop up and it looks like we got uh, some stash. Don't think we can uh, do much. We've only got uh, one guy there. He is a leader. I guess he can go after the other military stash. Eight days. Sure, why not? Might as well do something while we're out on patrol. Alright, we have smoke on the horizon here. Uh, it is currently nighttime, so we'll switch to red lighting. And we'll angle in towards them and see what we see. My engineer's been in bed the whole time. He needs to get out there on the engines. All head full. We're going to plot these guys. I wonder if this is a U-boat chasing another convoy. Oh, our visibility is quite low, actually. Um... Because it's nighttime, but I don't think they're going to see us. Radar signature? Uh, yeah. Oop, don't want to. Oh, okay. That's a warship. Crash dive here. We'll take her down to all ahead slow. Turn away. Yeah, that's the destroyer right there. I don't think that destroyer would have spotted us just yet. Going under. We don't need to dive too much, I guess. We'll just go down to uh, 
yeah, let's just take her down. 25 meters. Get old Baron here on the uh, hydrophones. I'll head full. But we will angle a little bit here. Okay, so those are all warships. We don't need this kind of trouble. Uh-oh. Okay, there is a Type 7 submarine there. And they are listening for him. So we're just going to slip out of the area. He's making a run for it. It's interesting. We can hear him. It means everybody should be able to hear him. I don't think we're going to have any problems slipping away. They've got their target. They don't care about somebody off on the fringe. All right, I think, even though I'm not clearly in the in the clear yet, I'm uh, not clearly in the clear, but I'm on my way to it. So I'll let you know if something develops. So we're bringing the sub back to the surface here. We just brought him up. Um, I think we're fine. Don't see any more smoke on the horizon. They're still back there, but I think we've uh, cleared the danger area. So now we're on our way again. Start angling around here. Our discipline's dropping down. Um, too much work from officers, fatigue in general. That's, I think, easy enough to uh, remedy. We haven't been feeding people different stuff, so we're going to go ahead and drop some of that in there. Uh, I'll give them some vegetables. Some cheese. That's what we got it for. Uh, some sausage here. Well, pork. And the rest bread. And see, there you have it. We'll be fine. Very dishes. Normal lighting. We can always turn on the music, too, if we have to. Of course, then I'll get copyright struck, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, well. They're moving around the west coast of Ireland. Nothing has come up just yet. I'm going to keep doing what I usually do. Go down a little bit, take a listen. So far, nothing. We'll arc back in here just a little bit into the ceiling and take a listen. So far, nothing. We'll swing through the Celtic Sea a little bit here. Let's see if we get lucky. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Tauchen auf 50 Meter. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Tanz auf Tiefe. Zu Befehl. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. We're just seeing if there's anything right here as we're passing by. Wechseln auf E-Motor. Tanz auf Tiefe. It's like not. We're heading into La Rochelle, I, I think. We do have a contrail here. We're going to report. It coming in. No, it looks like it's going away. See if it loops back after it heard that. No, I think we're okay. Yep. A little bit risky in the Bay of Biscay. Not very deep. Um, only less than a hundred meters deep. I 
We're gonna deal with some fatigue problem in our next mission a little bit. Put everybody to bed here. Um, so fatigue is minus seven. It's gonna be higher on the next mission, but I think it's still we're still able to deal with it. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it around this without banging into anything. Okay, it just uh, slammed us into port. All right. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> that was a little on the extreme side. Plug's gonna refill our food and fuel here. No cheese here. We could keep the canned bread just for fun. We got lots of money. Ammunition and everything are uh, basically fine. Torpedoes are fully stocked. We didn't do anything. We need another crew member. Uh, who do we want? Longest name. Mullendorf. There we go. I didn't read his backstory, but we did get him. Yeah, we have 18 now. Okay, next mission. Um, join the French flotilla. What? Didn't we? Oh, that's what we just did. I was going to say, didn't we just do that? Southern routes. Uh, High Command suspects many ships flying neutral flags but supporting an allied effort. False flaggers. For this reason, Command orders U-boat skippers to inspect all neutral ships. All right. Of course, we have the Black Pit, which we have not finished yet. Don't get a uh, good reward, but if we sink 4,000 tons, we get uh, another leader. This patrol is not that useful since we don't get anything good for it. This one, same thing. Uh, we could go through Gibraltar and get into La Spezia, which is kind of risky. U boat wreck we can dive on. I don't want to attack Scapa Flow. I think we're going to the Black Pit simply because uh, we need to sink 4,000 tons. We can get another leader. Not that exciting if we don't run into stuff there since the difficulty is low and anticipated the ships there are small. But if we hang out in the area, we may, instead of moving around so much, we may be able to detect stuff passing through. So that's where we're headed. Most direct route. All ahead slow. If we wipe out any of our guys on the way out here. I think we'll be fine. Okay. On to the black pit then. All right, research done. Military, military stash complete. What do we get? More budget. All right. Um, aerial reconnaissance. Yeah. Go ahead. We'll do all these leader ones that are easy to do. And 
we're still on our way to the Black Pit right now. Alright, we are arriving in the Black Pit, reporting that we have reached the sector, and we are going to take a listen. Whoops. Nothing there, as expected. Get to the north part of this. Let's switch to red lighting. I don't think we're going to need that discipline from that bonus right now. Well, we are overworking our guys a bit. There. They like that a little better. If I put the uh, people with him, I think they don't like it very much. Yeah. There we go. Unless he's on duty, then we'll switch it. Fuel's not as much of a concern. So far, no luck. Been kind of running up and down here in the top part, looking for somebody. Any uh, convoys or any ships that are just traveling through the area. Uh, but haven't found anything, really. Uh, about halfway done with the patrol. Come down here. There we go. Propeller. <clears throat> Not quite centered, it's okay. Alright, yeah, we can see the direction he's going. Roughly this way, I think. It'll automatically take us to the surface, but we're trying to hurry up here. <laughs> Not that far away. We are going to switch to normal lighting because it is daytime. If we can't see anything, we can smoke. Why are we weaving all over the place? Let's take a listen again. All right, so he's probably moving this direction. So moving pretty fast too. I don't think uh, we were pretty much same distance now. We're letting him get ahead of us. All ahead flank now. See if we can catch up to him. There he is. <laughs> we'll angle in and try to get a line of sight on this guy. Okay, we kind of see the direction he's going. Looks like he's heading to England. There's no reason to really uh, mess with him. I think we don't need to board him necessarily. Uh, well, we'll see what he is first. There we go. Okay. Uh, we can just close in and deck gun this guy. Since we're trailing him, there's no reason to try to get in position to launch a torpedo. We'll just catch up to him and deck gun him smoke detected over here. Now that could be a little bit of a problem. <clears throat> if we hit this guy, it will alert others in the area. Just a war class. That's the name of the ship. <laughs> it's a tanker. Nice. Does he even know we're here yet? Yeah, he's alarmed. 
Okay. That actually helps us catch up to you. Weaving like you are. <clears throat> you on the deck gun, get you on observation. What's going on here? There we go. <clears throat> Eric Top was kind of freaking out a little bit there. Uh, we have AP rounds, so no problem. Go ahead and put some shells in this guy. He is a tanker. He's probably carrying something explosive. Just need to set him on fire. Oops, that was a little low. Let's just set him on fire. Probably heavy in the water, too. Could be very bad for him. Yep, secondaries. Yep. Done and done. Went down fast. Okay. The other ship on the horizon here. The G G O H Jones is sunk. Get you back on. How about uh, navigation, observation? Okay, so this ship. Is also running for it. Not necessarily running for it, but uh, running for England is probably what I mean. Around this area was where I last saw him. We <laughs> light boat, even capsized. All right, we do see smoke on the horizon. This one's moving a little bit slower, actually. Uh, we could probably come up on him this way. Switch to red light so we can see a little better. What is this ship? Let's take a look. See, ah, uh, Norwegian ship. <clears throat> We're not going to be able to shoot this because it could be going around. Come up and investigate. Oof. <laughs> Racing around here. Let's kind of straighten her out here. I'll let half. Maybe coming to a stop. Dead slope. I'll stop. <clears throat> Alright, let's take a look at our team, just to recall here. Uh, Navigator might be good to send over, so we're going to send over Weber. Might send over Top, too, just because he can speak English, just in case. Uh, well, Shrine can speak English, too. We can send over Shrine and maybe Clug. Or should we send over Gange? We may send over Gange just so we could sap it. So, Gange, Weber, and Clug.
Oops, if they speak English, uh... We'll be okay with that. Because <laughs> we can send somebody else over, too. <clears throat> Got the speedboat going. Oh, he went underwater. <clears throat> Whoopsie. He speaks English and only knows uh, sadly it turns out to be quite problematic. All right. Um, we'll decline and return to our ship. And we're going to interact again and send another delegation. This time, <clears throat> we're going to send a shrine. We're going to send a Weber. And we're going to send a gauge over. Shrine does speak English. Don't worry. There's really nothing uh, risking us out here. All right. The port of Liverpool. Wait a minute. A little see suspicious. I'll say they're not. They don't look like they're going to Liverpool. <laughs> it shows that he okay. And we're gonna say something else. And he says. Uh, companies usually trade such goods and I, uh, ideas. Why is there demand for them? Okay. Arr. He says he's carrying medical supplies to Liverpool. All right. Crew is now searching. All right. Nothing unusual. They are taking medical supplies to Liverpool. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused here. Whoops. Why can't we interact here? If, but Liverpool is like the enemy, right? So, like, why? Why is this okay? You're taking a bunch of medical supplies to England. Why is that okay? Meet the captain. So he's wondering what's going on. Okay, so you're a neutral ship taking a bunch of supplies uh, to Liverpool, which is in England, right? Am I drunk? Is there some other Liverpool that I don't know about? You just give away and then he's just assuming that, hey, you know, we wouldn't figure out where Liverpool is. I'm a little bit confused by this. Let me look this up online and see what they say. All right, so the way I see it, um, he's heading towards a blockaded port, which what people are saying is like your navigators and things are just gullible. They just believe, yeah, okay, sure. Um, are you going to a blockaded port? Uh, yes, I am. Why? Well, I'm just taking medical supplies there. But uh, you do know that port's blockaded, right? Uh, what? <laughs> no, we're going to tell him to get off his ship. Uh, he clearly angered about the outcome responses. You don't have the right to this neutral vessel. Uh, that's fine. We go back to the deck house. Um, we go to the engine room. We plant explosives with the resapper. And uh, everybody is heading back, so. Okay, it's sinking. Was kind of hoping to see some uh, explosions, but nothing there. All right. Well, we uh, have a problem, Houston. <laughs> I cannot uh, do anything. We'll see if I can work this out here. Okay, there we go. Maybe that'll fix it. All right, that did. We'll send that report off. Ooh, I couldn't do anything for a second, but I click on this. Uh, there's some survivors. We'll take their uh, one of their guys on board. The other one. Uh, we could take sailors. I tend not to do that. 
Send that off. Why is there two people on the radio? Oh, maybe both on, uh, not necessarily the radio, but hanging out in the radio room talking to each other. I don't know. All right. That's pretty good. I think uh, we've sunk quite a bit in this um, this mission. And that's definitely more than 4,000 tons, right? All right. Let's go ahead, all ahead half, and start patrolling and finish this patrol up. All right, we're almost done with the patrol. Um... We're actually going to uh, all stop here and not finish the patrol. We're just going to take a listen. So far, nothing. Um, we do want to sink more in the black pit, but uh, we can't do it if we. I think we run out of the patrol. Um, but if I go chasing something, it'll. Oop! It'll definitely use up our uh, patrol distance, so might as well just finish it off and then report that the patrol is complete. We'll take a last listen here before we head back to port. Whoops. There's really no risk to us uh, going back across here, so here... Well, yeah, we just head back to port, I think. We'll just complete mission. There's really no big... Five days, really? It take five days to cruise back there? I feel like it doesn't. I feel like they're just penalizing me by taking the lazy way back. Another successful patrol. Didn't shoot any torpedoes this time around. It was a pretty good hit to the black pit there. Transporting oil, yeah. Medical supplies, uh-oh. Uh From Sydney to Liverpool, it was registered in Sweden. Why were they going to a neutral port, or from a neutral ship going to a blockaded port though? I mean... Do they not care that we sunk a neutral ship? Sweden. I guess that wasn't Norway. It's Sweden. Oh boy, Swedish ship. Sorry, Swedes. Uh, you got to understand, you guys. I, I was totally not... You can't be sending stuff here. Main link between UK and North America. Yeah, you, you can't be sending stuff there. You know, I mean, like... There's a blockade for a reason. We're trying to win a war here, and if you give them medical supplies, I guess that's kind of a humanitarian effort. Well, I feel bad about that. All right, we did complete a task. Port defenses are now marked on the map. Okay, do we have anything else we can do? We do have this mission right here, sonar decoys. We can send an engineer on. Might as well send an engineer. Um, oh, I forgot about Bender. We did pick up. Yeah, we'll put Bender on that. Good enough. Clug. He rolled over in bed when I called on him. Clug, you need to go talk to the uh, the guy here. We need some more fuel. Wow, we burned up quite a bit. I wonder if uh, that passage of time burns up your fuel much more than you would want it to. No cheese. Uh, we're going to sell the cheese. Can we sell it? Oh, I have to switch it. I don't know. It's probably okay. I'm a little bit worried because we have bread. We didn't even use any of our ammunition or deck guns or anything that time around. Uh, oh, we did use a little deck gun ammo, that's right. Oops. 
Eight shots. That was easy to sink. Selma. Hold down control. Okay, there we go. Sell it. You only get uh, some fruit, I think, or some dried fish. Fruit is probably good. We'll take some fruit. Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte. Dies sind die heutigen Aufträge vom BDU. Streng geheim. All right, we got a couple black pits here, and we have a leader as well, uh, Theo, that we can pick up. So this black pit is a little closer. So we can espionage the Belfast Harbor. Scapa flow minefields and things. We would get a radio operator out of that. We are working on the black pit. Wouldn't mind getting another radio operator, though. Difficulty is high. Let's stay out of the high difficulties and just stick with the black pit for now. <clears throat> That's kind of why we came over here anyway. All right. Thanks for joining, everybody. In the next episode, we're going to be heading back to the black pit and seeing what we can find out uh, is going on over there. I did like that espionage mission it's not like i didn't want to do it my crew's probably going to need a break here uh coming up as well they are going to be a little bit exhausted from doing these endless missions too but i think we can get by with at least one more all right you guys take care have a good one i'll see you in the next episode peace out